Boy, I tell you, I'm out here, uh, you know, just gathering evidence. And let me just tell you, I'm gathering evidence about the most important scientific breakthrough in years. That's right. I'm out here hunting ghosts. This is a uh, park. It used to be the Underground Ground Railroad. So I figure a lot of a lot of slaves died around this area at the hands of, uh, you know, slave hunters. If you've ever seen the movie Roots by Alex Haley, you'd know a lot about that. But uh, not a lot of you youngsters out there have uh, been uh, want to uh, see the uh, effects of, uh, you know, slavery. So I figured I'd refresh it. So what happens to these slaves who die? They, uh, you know, they hang around. Their spirits, their spirits linger for a long time. A very long time. And uh, in that time period, they pick up on the cultures around these inner city urban parks. And, uh, well, let's just say, uh, I have evidence to believe that they have been uh, graffitiing this bathroom. As one knows, slaves were forbidden to read in those dark days. Which uh, brings me to my uh, first point of evidence. Over here we have a, uh, this is a toilet. And uh, right here we have better recognize. Isn't that kind of strange that a uh, teenager wouldn't know how to spell recognize? They'd accidentally spell it R-E-C-A-N-I-Z. If you ask me, that's probably because one of them slaves picked up a spray paint can to try and express himself. And unfortunately, he was not able to. He was not able to clearly in a way that, uh, you know, we're used to seeing. Because uh, he doesn't understand uh, how to read very well. Over here we have some kind of a urban styled, uh, well I don't really know what this is, it's pretty faded, but I can assume that it was probably done in the 1980s by a escaped slave. And then over here we have, you know, just the regular, it says respect, dots, and women. I think that was done by, you know, a living teenager. Then here we have uh, some uh, shattered glass, which is a pretty big deal if you ask me, because these slaves are out here, they're trying to express themselves, so they, you know, you better recognize, and then they break the glass. You, can you follow that logical leap with me? Better recognize, I'm gonna break the glass. If you ask me, this is pretty definitive proof of what's really going on out here. Uh, I consider myself a skeptic and I, prefer to uh, keep it that way but at the same time it's hard for me not to acknowledge that in this uh you know a very uh big hot spot for uh you know slave ghost activity that we're seeing all these uh aspects of urban culture leaking into our uh, park in a mostly white community so if you ask me this is pretty definitive proof that uh at the very least these slaves are trying to express themselves and uh, if you could uh, send this to Discovery Channel or maybe uh, Ghost Hunters, I'd appreciate that because, you know, as, as one can see, there is evidence here. It's just, you know, getting the uh, universities and these liberal agenda-stricken communities to, uh, you know, the university is one of the most liberally run uh, country and they're li liberally run institutions. And unfortunately, they're all atheists. They don't believe in the spirit world or ghosts or demons. Meanwhile, over here, I'm looking at the uh, facts. Seems to me that there might be good uh, reason to believe that there are slaves out here trying to express themselves. Anyways, YouTube, have a good day and uh, keep your eyes peeled. You never know when you might stumble upon what could be a giant scientific breakthrough in the uh, paranormal community. Have a good one. Bye.